this is Shar of Yellow Yum, and today I will be talking about something TMI. As you can see in the title, I'll be talking about menstrual cups. And this is actually going to be my first Tagalog or Taglish video. So if you can't understand Tagalog, you can visit yellowyum.com because I will be doing a blog post on this topic. But if you're in the Philippines and you're Filipina, this is something that I wanted to make for you. So what I want to talk about is menstrual cup. So this, this is my menstrual cup. Before I jump into all the details, I'll show you and I'll explain to you what my menstrual cup is. So this one, this is the Meluna Classic. Um, they have different kinds kasi. So they have the Meluna Classic, merong Meluna Shorty, and Meluna Sport. So ang meron ko dito is Meluna Classic, and I got the shade blue because meron din siyang different colors. And then I got the um, regular stem. Meron din kasi ball grip. Yun. When you buy it, meron kang box. So ito yung box niya your menstrual cup and they also provide a pouch where you can store your menstrual cup. Pinili ko yung akin sa Mama Baby Love. I'll put the link in the information box so you can go check out her site for all the different brands and also some more information. So what is a menstrual cup? Ito siya. Um, Gawa siya sa silicone, or this one is TPE actually. It's a medical uh, medical grade plastic. And ang pinaka concept niya is, di ba, when you use pads or napkin, um, hihintay mo lumabas yung period mo, and then i-absorb ngayon ni napkin yung period mo. This one naman, um, ipapasok mo siya sa loob, and then sasaluhin niya sa loob yung period mo. So, like what I mentioned, ipapasok mo siya sa loob. So, much like tampon in that sense. Pasok mo siya sa loob. Pag pinasok mo siya sa loob, meron siyang suction. So, mag-open to. And then, i-collect niya ngayon yung menstrual period mo. After which, you're gonna pull it out. And then, you just dump the period or the blood sa toilet. Then, you wash it and reuse again. So, before anything else, dapat alam mo kung ano yung size mo. So, nagdidepend yan sa height mo, sa belt mo, activities such as kung nag exercise ka or you do yoga, and also kung nanganak ka na. So, those are the main criteria para malaman mo kung ano yung size mo. Before anything else, let me just share with you my reasons. Actually, nilist ko dito kung ano yung mga reasons kung bakit ko na-decide na mag-try mag-menstrual ka. Ever since I can remember, na isip ko na na malakas ang period ko. I know that a lot of you can relate with me. Um, lagi na isip mo na malakas lakas ang period mo, and you use so many pads. Imagine how much you spend. Dahil bili ka na bili ng pads, dahil kailangan mo magpalit. Also, that uncomfortable feeling kapag nakapads ka. Lagi iisipin mo na um, tama ba yung pagkakaplace or yung placement ng pads mo para wala kang leaking or wala kang tagos. So, ayun din, isa ring reason yon yung takot mo na matagosan ka. Also, I noticed na mas nagiging dry ako down there kapag may period ako and I wear my pads. Lastly, I read about toxic shock syndrome or TSS and I just got scared. Those are really my reasons kung bakit naisipan kong mag-try ng menstrual cup. A little background. Yung daughter ko, nung pinanganak ko siya, um, nag-cloth diaper na kami. So, hindi ako masyadong maselan sa pagdating, pagdating sa mga reusable um, and washing everything, ganyan-ganyan. Hindi ako ganun kamaselan. So, when I discovered na merong mga reusable napkins, hindi ako naging squeamish. And especially nung nalaman ko about menstrual cups. But I have to admit, it took me a while. It took me two years before I finally purchased my first menstrual cup. Kasi ang dami ko rin questions and gusto ko talaga mag-research. So, I did my research, I read so many different articles, nanood ako ng napakaraming videos para lang ma-educate ko yung sarili ko on this topic and on this product. So these are the frequently asked questions when it comes to menstrual cups. Paano mo siya ipapasok? So there are different ways on how to insert this. So may different folds siya. Uh, merong isa ganito. Merong isa ganito. Yan. And yung ginagamit ko is ganito. Parang number 7. 
And then, pag na-fold mo na siya, so ipapasok mo na siya inside, mag-open up siyang ganyan, and then, meron siyang suction seal. So, magsi-seal yan, so hindi yan biglang ma mahuhulog sa'yo, or hindi siya mawawala. Also, a proper way of removing it. So, you just insert a finger just to break the seal. Yan. And then, you take it out slowly. Tapos, yung laman niya na blood, you just dump it in the toilet and you wash it and you can reuse it again. Does it hurt? Like what I mentioned, there's a proper way um, on how to insert it and remove it. So, kung mali yung paggawa mo niyan, pwede siyang maging masakit. So, actually, nung first time na sinubukan ko siya, um, nagkaroon ako ng cramping kasi mali pala yung pag-insert ko. Masyadong mataas or masyadong malalim yung pag pag-insert ko sa kanya. Buti na lang, I asked the seller, Jenny, and she, um, she sent these links para makita ko yung mga possible reasons kung bakit masakit. But after that one incident, okay na, like, wala na ako na-feel. Makalat ba? This is definitely something na bumagabag din sa akin, kaya ang tagal ko bago finally nag-decide na bumili. Kasi naisip ko, paano kung kailangan mong mag-dump tapos nasa labas ka? Honestly, once lang naging medyo makalat sa akin and it was my first time to remove it tapos mali yung way ko mag-remove. But after that, wala nang kalat whatsoever. My tip is, you have to break it like that. Break the seal first. Tapos dahan-dahan mo siya, parang crawl it going out. So ganyan-ganyan mo siya. Para lahat ng blood, nandun pa rin siya sa loob. And then you dump it. So, hindi siya makalat. I actually went to a wedding na suot ko ang menstrual cup and kinailangan ko mag-change or mag-dump na nasa wedding. Ang importante lang, meron kang toilet paper or wet wipes para ma-wipe mo pagkatapos mo mag-dump. Hindi ba nakakadire yung blood? Honestly, hindi kasi ako squeamish na... Um, nahahawakan ko yung blood ko or nakikita ko yung blood ko. Kasi honestly, blood ko yun eh, diba? Dugo mo yan. So, bakit ka, bakit ka mantidire? So, that's just me. So, hindi, hindi naging problema sa akin or issue sa akin yun. Hindi ba nakakadire? <laughs> this is something na narinig ko from some of my friends. And, to be honest, I think it really is preference na lang. If you're open to this kinds of products, obviously, hindi siya nakakadire, diba? Um, but it's good that you know that you have options. I think here in the Philippines, wala kasi tayo masyadong options or hindi natin alam na meron palang mga ganitong alternative. So at least you know. So ano yung naging experience ko sa menstrual cup? It really is life-changing. Ang dami kong nabasang articles and videos that I watch na sinasabi nga talaga nila na kung nalaman lang nila about this sooner, sana nagamit na nila sooner and nag-change na sila sooner. Um, honestly, it really is life-changing. I kid you not. Ayoko kasi yung feeling nung yung gush. Alam mo yon yung parang mafe-feel mo na biglang may lalabas sa or may gush of blood coming out you. With menstrual cup, never kung na-feel yun. So, imagine na natutulog ka tas wala kang na-feel at all. Di ba? Ang saya. Also, hindi na ako na problema na okay lang kung magpalit ng pads, ganyan-ganyan. Because, to be honest, you only need to change two to three times. Na-mention ko dati na um, inaisip ko na malakas yung period ko, di ba? During my first day, which is yung pinakamalakas na period ko, three times ko lang kinilangan mag-change. So, in the morning, nung naligo ako, um, once in the afternoon, and then right before bedtime. So, yun lang. So, sinasabay ko na lang siya kapag naliligo ako. So, I, I take a bath twice a day. So, sinasabay ko siya doon. And yung cramping, mas na-lessen yung cramping ko. Although, hindi naman din kasi ganun kasama yung cramping ko. Like, I don't have this menorrhea. Pero, I noticed na mas wala yung cramping nung gumamit ako ng menstrual cup. Less kalat as well. Kaya, sobrang nag-enjoy talaga ako. Kasi, walang kalat eh. Kasi, Lahat ng blood nandito lang sa loob. Also, yung matitipid ko na money because ito lang siya. Ito lang for how many years, ito lang yung kailangan ko. Honestly, it made my period more tolerable. Sino ba naman ang nag-enjoy na may period tayo, di ba girls? Pero nung nalaman ko about menstrual cups, talagang mas naging tolerable siya. And actually, nilulog forward ko pa kapag meron akong period kasi na-amaze ako na, uy, may menstrual cup ako and 
wala akong nafe-feel. Ang tips ko lang, um, number one, find your correct size. Kasi if it's too big for you, obviously, mahihirapan kang ipasok. Kakaroon ka rin ng leaking kasi ma naka-fold lang siya inside. Hindi siya mag-open properly. And if it's too small, mas magkakaroon ka ng mga leaking. Next is you have to be comfortable. Importante rin na you did your research and um, nagbasa talaga kayo and comfortable kayo sa ganitong bagay. Kailangan relax ka kasi mahihirapan ka ipasok at ilabas yan kung hindi ka relax. Third is use lubricant. One of the YouTubers na pinapanood ko, I'll put her link in the information box, um, sinabi niya to use lubricant. So, sinubukan ko with and without. And, and tama siya na so much easier kapag lubricated yung menstrual cup mo because it's so much easier to insert it. Lastly, take your time. Huwag mong madaliin yung buong process because mas matetense ka lang. So, it goes back to kailangan relax ka. And another thing, Always make sure that you wash your hands and kailangan palagi malinis ka when you use your menstrual cup and malinis yung menstrual cup mo. Sobrang dali lang naman yung linisin. So water and actually ako, I use my feminine wash to wash it. But you can also use um, a mild soap to wash it. And every cycle, kailangan mo siyang sterilize. So sterilize mo lang siya sa boiling water for 3 to 5 minutes before using it. I hope na naging helpful and insightful tong video na to. I know TMI siya, pero I just really wanted to share with you my discovery kasi like what I said, life-changing siya talaga. Um, alam ko maraming magtataka at maraming mga may questions or maraming mga mandidire, but this is something na I really wanted to share with you para alam nyo na meron pang mga options aside from pads or tampons. I am very happy with this discovery and if you um, try to research, and dami nyo rin mababasang mga experiences. So, and actually you learn so much more about your body. Just in case you have other questions, don't hesitate to leave them in the comments below. Ta try kong um, sagutin lahat ng mga questions nyo. I hope that you enjoyed this video and please don't forget to follow me on my social media accounts. Lahat yan nasa information box. And please don't forget to subscribe for more videos. I'll see you later. Bye! In this video, I will be sharing with you my favorite finds for 2015. This includes the new releases for 2015 and some products that I discovered and fell in love with last 2015.